Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to check deleted messages on Messenger. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we actually check our deleted messages? Well, in this case, the first thing we need to do here is we need to open up Messenger. Now, usually when you try deleting something here, so for example, I'm going to delete one of the messages here and choose delete. Now, it's going to say once you've deleted your copy of the conversation, it cannot be undone, which is kind of frustrating, especially if you've accidentally actually deleted that specific conversation. Now, how do we recover that? Well, in this case, there will, there are, again, what, like what we actually have viewed before, there are no way for us to actually undo what we just did. But the great thing here is you could actually download your data from Messenger or from Facebook themselves. So what we need to do is we first need to click on the tree bar icon at the top left of your screen. Now, click on the gear icon at the top right. Let's go to the very bottom until we see the account center option. Let's go and click on see more in account center. Now, from here, you need to scroll down a bit here, look for account settings and choose the your information permissions. Now, what we need to do next is we need to click on download your information button or link. Now, from here, click on the download or transfer information. Now, go ahead and choose your Facebook account that you want to download your information. Let's go ahead and click on next. Now, from here, you can go ahead and click on specific types of information. Now, under this section, make sure to scroll down a bit here and look for messages. Let's go ahead and select messages. Now, from here, let's go ahead and click on next. Now, from here, we now do have the option to specify where we want to download this information. Now, you could actually download this on your uh, device here, or you can even transfer this to a specific destination. Like, for example, a destination in your Google Drive or your Dropbox. In this case, I'm going to choose download to this device. Let's go ahead and click on next. Now, what we need to do next is we now need to specify the format. So you can either choose JSON or HTML. Now, if you choose HTML here, it's going to look like a website that you could actually open up. Or if you choose JSON here, so whatever is a lot easier for you. So in this case, I'm going to choose HTML. Now, you could also choose a account or an email address that will be notified whenever you actually uh, send a uh, or when you actually receive the files here, whenever they actually create it. You could also specify the date range here. So in this case, if you take the old time here, it will actually download all the messages that you have right now on your account. So starting or in the beginning of your account. Or if you just want to have the last week here, which actually reduces the time for it to actually generate. Now, once you've chosen the time here, so I'm going, in this case, I'm going to say last three years. Let's go and click on save. Let's go and click on create files here. So it's going to start creating those files, collecting your data, and they will be notifying you once the uh, file or once the uh, messages are now available. In this case, once they are available, you can check your email or the actual page again in here and download the zip file itself and open it up and you should be able to see or a folder containing your messages on Messenger. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.